Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome. You are tuned in to Big Mike's blog. I am your humble host, Big Mike, coming to you from my home. I am back from my lovely vacation. Came back last week, so I've just been kind of getting back into the groove of work and all that jazz. But side hit y'all with the vlog. So as you guys should know, if you didn't already know, uh, it's a day after Super Bowl Sunday. Um, the Kansas City Chiefs won the Super Bowl, so shout out and congratulations to the Kansas City Chiefs. Even though I will admit, I was actually rooting for the San Francisco 49ers to win. But, you know, Mahomes did his thing. Mahomes is actually one of my favorite quarterbacks in the league right now. Thus, the reason why I have his jersey and the lovely fit it has to match, because you know how I do. Um, so shout out to him. Um, had a great time. I actually went to a Super Bowl party downtown on uh, King on um, downtown Toronto. Uh, actually at Rebel Rebel Nightclub, which is one of the biggest clubs in Toronto. Uh, big turnout for the Super Bowl party. Over 700 people were there. Um, actually, one of my my best, one of my good friends. So shout out to my best, my good friend Steve. He actually won a trip to Miami. Um, so good for him. I'm a little bit jealous because I was really trying to win that damn trip, but he beat me to it. So I am humbled today. So good for him. I'm happy for him. So I digress from that. Okay. So today's vlog now is talking about something that I've been kind of getting a lot of traffic on and people keep asking me about it. I've been asked about it a few times and I've had discussions with people about this. So I kind of feel it's time for me to kind of do a vlog about it. Okay, so um, on, I'm on a dating app right now called Hinge. For those of you who don't know, um, it's a decent app, I guess. Um, not compared to Tinder or, or Bumble and all that. It's more of a, I don't know, it's, they say their, their mantra or their, um, they'll catch the phrase of their app is it's designed to be deleted, which whatever. Um, but, uh, so there's prompts and stuff like that in each section of your profile that you create. Right. So, and one of my profiles actually added something new to it. So it asks basically what is your life, your lifelong mantra, your life, what is your lifelong saying or your little calling that you live by or whatever? So I posed a question on there saying or asking, do you want to be eye candy or do you want to be soul food? So, um, and I've gotten a lot of feedback on it. I've had a lot of responses from it. So I figured I would explain myself on this vlog to you people so you guys can get an understanding of what I meant because I think it's kind of gotten lost in train uh, it's not I think my no one really understands what I was coming what I was trying to say because I didn't really properly explain it so here's my chance to explain it for you lovely people so you guys can let me know what you think all right so when I'm talking about eye candy and soul food what do I mean so and again I'm trying to I'm prefacing this in the terms of dating I kind of came up with the concept of eye candy and soul food a few weeks ago. Actually, about a month or month and a half ago, I would say. Um, I was just actually just, you know, my mind was going one day. And I was just thinking to myself in terms of eye candy and soul food when in relation to dating. Um, and what I mean by when I talk about eye candy, I'm talking about it from a temper, from a standpoint of like, let's say you're looking for something casual, short term, but but very fun and engaging type of relationships. Whereas soul food to me is kind of like a long-term stable relationship where you're, you're looking to date someone and hopefully it's leading to marriage, that type of thing. So that's kind of what I was prefacing it as. Reason why I kind of came up with this concept is because I find personally, men and women both, are, and the reason why people complain about how dating is right now and people I have had so many people bitch and moan to me about dating sucks and dating is terrible and blah 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 I feel personally and this is my opinion you guys can feel free to comment let me know what you think the reason why I think dating is so ugh, is that I just think people don't know what they want they don't know what they're looking for they have they don't know what they want eternally and they don't know what they're looking for in terms of people like they don't know if they're what in terms of themselves are they eye candy are they just looking for a temporary piece are they just all they're bringing to the table is something temporary or something casual or fun or are they bringing a solid stable relationship to the table or are they soul food where like i said they're looking to bring something solid to the table and what are they looking for 
And I think a lot of people aren't honest with their intentions about what they want and what they're looking for when they come on these apps. Um, which is unfortunate because I think when you're not honest with yourself about what you want, it's hard for you then to expect the person that you're dealing with or talking to or dating to bring something, I guess, in terms of honesty or just not even in terms of honesty, but it's hard to kind of, when you don't know what you want to go out there and date and find it because even for myself, and I speak from experience myself personally, I dated not knowing what I really wanted. Um, when I dated, when I started really dating, like when I was dating consistently, I would probably say that I was in all honesty looking for eye candy. Um, I had actually went out on a date a few weeks ago and a girl had asked, and I said to a girl straight up from 2013 to 2015 to 2016, including all the vlogs I did in 2016, if I talked about dating and relationships, to be very frank with you guys, if you were to ask me in those three years, was I looking to be eye candy or soul food? I would have told you straight up soul food. I would have told you I'm looking for ideally a solid, stable relationship. But in reality, I was eye candy. And all I was looking for was eye candy. I think because I just wasn't sure of what I wanted. And I wasn't honest with myself about what I bring to the table. And I wasn't really fully confident about what I could bring to the table in terms of a woman. In terms of a relationship. In terms of dating. Okay. Um, so I feel like that's kind of where that disconnect is. Now, I think I've reached a point now where I kind of know myself. I'm very self-aware. I'm comfortable and confident in my own skin. I know what I bring to the table in terms of dating. If I was to hypothetically get to that point, if I met someone, meeting someone is a little bit harder now. Uh, but that's kind of where my mindset is now, whereas in years past, it wasn't. But I actually took the time to be self-aware enough and self-reflect to figure that out. Whereas a lot of people don't do that aren't willing to do that and that's where the problems become when i feel like self-awareness is so key to in dating as well right it's just knowing what yourself and knowing what you want is key and a lot of people aren't honest about that perfect example of this so i had connected with i was out of town for a bit and in my midst of me, me being out of town i had connected with someone in the states for a bit so all of last week, actually, we had been talking consistently. And this isn't the reason why I decided to do this vlog. I just wanted to try to share this story as an example. So um, last night, actually, when I came home from the game, we were talking. Um, and she kind of just basically said, you know, Mike, I don't know if this is necessarily going to work. Because, you know, you live here. I live where I live. I'm not looking to move there. You're not in a position where you can move to where I live. And I want something more stable and I want someone close by. Totally fair. Absolutely, unequivocally fair. Um, and then she said to me, you know, so what are we talking for? Is what she said to me. Are we talking because we're bored? Or are we talking because we actually are into each other? Well, I said, and I'm being very frank and very honest when I say this. I'm talking to you because you seem like a very awesome, interesting woman that I would like to talk to, that I like talking to first off, and I would like to get to know deeper and who knows what will happen. Not not get telling you that you have to stay and talk to me by any means. And I'm not saying that I'm trying to string you along, but I'm not talking to you because I have nothing else to do with my time. I have other things I could do with my time. Now, are, now so I posed the question back to her and said, are you talking to me out of boredom? And she actually kind of admitted that one of the reasons why she was talking to me is because I actually respond to her regularly. Like I actually have consistent conversation with her. Whereas other guys in her area, they may, she may talk to them for a couple days, a week, a month, if that, and they either ghost her or the conversation grows stale. Whereas with me, that hasn't happened. And, be, and, that, and because of that, she kept talking to me. And she thinks I'm cute, I'm nice, but beyond that, the only reason why she's really talking to me is because I respond to her. And I said to her, so if that is that the real reason why you're talking to me? And she kind of said, yeah, but then she said, you know what, I don't want to talk anymore. I, hope, I wish you all the best. I said, fine. And then she made a comment saying all men are the same. And I'm like, what are you talking about? 
I'm basically telling you that I'm interested in actually talking and getting to know you. And you're basically telling me that you're only talking because you're bored. And then she unfollowed me and that was it. So, <laughs> so you see what I'm saying? This is an example of what I'm talking about. And I'm not trying to throw her under the bus by any means. That's not my intent by saying this. I'm sure I'm simply trying to share the story. Okay. Now I get where she's coming from in terms of, you know, long distance is hard. Listen, living in the same vicinity was and trying to date is hard enough, but living in a different country, different state, different wherever is hard enough too. So I totally get that. But the, what bothered me more was not even the fact that she was talking to me out of boredom. I think the fact that she tried to deflect and say that all men are the same when how am I the same as all the other guys you're talking to? But I just felt like I was willing to check her on her shit. And I don't think she was prepared to deal with that conversation. So, and she just, I don't know. I think she kind of wasn't, ex wasn't expecting to actually have a dope, dope conversation with me. And she didn't know what she wanted. And know what she was, and she, I was, I don't know. I think she just didn't know what she wanted. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong, people. Maybe I'm over judging it. Let me know what you think. But I know I'm going off on a weird tangent. So, that's the thing. So, I just think people need to know what they want. People need to know: Are you eye candy or are you soul food? Are you eternally looking for something solid, or are you just looking for a quick thing? And I'm not saying eye candy is a bad thing. I want to make sure I'm clear on that. Because people are going to think that I'm sitting there bashing eye candy. I'm not. Because I was eye candy for a period of time. And actually women have asked me, "Are you? do you think you're eye candy or soul food? And I tell them right now, I am eye candy. That's it. I am not soul food. And you know, people are trying to then ask me, can you be soul candy? <laughs> or can you be, a, or can you be eye food? Like they're trying to mix the two together. Um... I think it's hard to be both. I mean, it's hard to put people in one category and say one thing, because obviously I don't like to be put in the box either. But I just think people got to know, what are you looking for? What are you trying to bring to the table? You know, and I think that's kind of the preface of where I'm coming from. And I try to make it into a, a something simple like eye candy and soul food. But I just think people just need to know what the fuck they want. I think that would just make things a lot easier. But um, yeah, so I don't know. Uh, let me know what you think. I know this is a really complex topic and people have differing views and opinions. This is just mine. And by no means am I an expert. I don't want anyone to think that I'm an expert. Um, it was just a, a thought that I had that I felt I wanted to share with y'all. And again, let me know what you think in the comment section. Um, like, comment, subscribe. I have plenty of other vlogs I've done. Um, who knows, I might do a Super Bowl vlog, possibly. Um, we'll see how it goes. But anyway, I want to thank y'all for watching this lovely vlog. I don't want to talk y'all ear off. But if you want me to do a part two of this, or if you have any topics that you wish for me to discuss, feel free to hit me up. I will also discuss those as well. Anyway, I am out. Take care. Peace and love, baby. I'm out.